Hi, today we're going to make a super simple pizza. I'm going to use a pre-made base that's semi-cooked. What I'm going to be using today is one of our grill, grill trays uh, and I'm actually going to use the back side of the tray. So on the front side you have the grill marks, on the back side you have a perfect pizza stone. You can bake anything on it, it will work just like the natural stone pizza oven. So what I've done is I've set one of these trays in my oven already to preheat it. Only well, needs to preheat for two or three minutes, so you don't need to do it far in advance. But the nice extra heat that you have by preheating it will give the pizza base a nice crust in the bottom. So I'm going to make it really simple. I'm not, I haven't done my own dough as you have seen. I just bought a pre-made pizza base and I'm going to use some nice tomato sauce and cover it. I'm going to be using some fresh buffalo mozzarella. You can use any cheese of your choice of course and any topping of your choice. But I'm going to make it very classical. I have some fresh tomatoes, plum tomatoes. Distribute them evenly. And I'll just break the mozzarella cheese. I will not cut it. Break it off in nice chunks. The good thing with using a pre-cooked base is that you could actually pick the pizza up and put it on the stone. If you do your own pizza dough, you need a pizza shovel. But in this case, you don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it directly into the oven on my preheated tray. And I'm going to let it cook there for five or six minutes until it has a nice golden color on the top. It will be done in the bottom. The oven is now set to 480. Uh, here it's good to use any temperature your oven goes up to. It doesn't matter if you have a convection oven or just a convection oven or just a regular oven. Use the highest temperature it goes to. So it will still work if it only goes to 430 or 450, but you probably need to add a little bit more time. Okay, so the pizza has been in the oven for approximately five minutes now. So I'm gonna be taking it out. Uh, I'm a chef, so I'll just use my hands, but if you have a, a tweezer or something like that, it will make it easier. So now you can see the pizza has a super nice crust on top. It also has I want to destroy the pizza a bit just so you can see it. It has a super nice crust in the bottom as well. And you can probably hear it when I do this with my, with my fingers. So it's a super nice, crispy Italian pizza done in your home oven on an Ipinium tray. You don't need any stoves, any pizza ovens or anything to be able to do this. The only thing I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to put a little bit of fresh basil on it and some olive oil. Maybe a little bit of salt and pepper. And here you have a perfect pizza.